everyone. Welcome to the La Quinta Chicago downtown. We're, we're really honored to have you all staying with us. And Raj told me I had to get one thing into, into the conversation, and that was for all you developers, 17 months after we opened, we achieved 100% penetration in the market, and we've maintained over 100% ever since. So I promised I'd get that part in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, considerably. Uh, I think a couple things have been happening. One, improved performance and um, uh, numbers within the industry has obviously driven performance and, and cash flow from that perspective. In addition to that, uh, low cost of capital, low cost of debt is really driving the point where either sellers who would normally be trading or selling out of the, the projects are uh, are holding if they're not getting their number and refining, which uh, is just as effective for them from a capital um, recycling process. In addition to that, uh, I think debt is now becoming more prevalently available, as well as capital for new development projects, which is also going to be driving uh, additional supply and as we look forward over the next 12 to 24 months. Yes, it has. Um, in fact, uh, in the last quarter, we closed 34 deals. It may have been our largest quarter, second quarter, in the history of franchising since we started 13 years ago. In fact, uh, the growth of new construction uh, in our pipeline today is 85 percent, and the continu continued interest that we see throughout the nation and internationally is all about new construction again. And uh, banks are loaning money on a regional level, so that has, uh, in fact, helped us a great deal, too. Yeah, I believe with the availability of capital, and the, in, the improving f metrics of our industry and the imp improving fundamentals, uh, I see that we'll continue to see additional capital flowing into our industry. Uh, we are seeing that capital, however, flow mostly into urban markets. Um, that's where the competition seems to be the, the greatest. Uh, yes, very much so. Uh, because of the improved performance, uh, there's a lot of new capital being attracted to come to the hotel industry looking to acquire hotels and so every time a new project comes out a new hotel available for acquisitions a lot of capital is bidding up for it and so it's getting harder and harder to buy appropriate projects yes with these rev par gains that we've all seen this year and what the forecasts are for next year uh, competition has increased uh, danahan is in the full service part of the industry and we're finding a lot of competition when projects uh, come to market I would say yes, it has <clears throat> a lot more competitors that uh, are offshore or new to the business uh, looking for returns uh, due to the, the metrics you just spoke of. I think we've seen over the last even six months uh, increased competition. Um, in fact, our firm personally has uh, bid on a number of projects that we were not even close on. So I think that goes to show that uh, the hotel market is, is hot for purchases and renovations and that uh, uh, maybe some people are, are willing to reach more than they would otherwise um, in order to, to, uh, to purchase projects and to get moving and uh, put money to work. Competition has increased uh, fairly dramatically and I think it's both because of uh, in increased competition, but also because the debt market is so strong and, and uh, with you know, kind of lower equity hurdles um, and less equity necessary, you see a lot of folks, um, more folks getting involved both in the acquisition and also in the renovation business. And the, the renovation equity, uh, the renovation debt rather, has gotten so robust and so cheap um, that folks are able to to hold on to properties longer and there's a lot more competition. Mm -hmm.